So here's one more video on the Wilson Combat X Macro Short Module. Here I have a Filster Skeleton Holster for the P365X Macro, and unsurprisingly, the fit is fine because the Wilson Combat X Macro Short is essentially, ignore the rail, just an X Macro module. The shorter dust cover and the SIG proprietary rail don't really impact holster fit on a holster that was designed for the X Macro. And as long as you're pairing it with an XL or a macro slide, use that holster totally fine, no cost in terms of space or anything. But if you wanted to pair this grip module with a P365 slide and get that shorter muzzle length, you would still have to use the longer holster in order to accommodate this X macro trigger guard. So uh, just for comparison, here is a P365 XL skeleton. I've showed this before. It does not remotely fit. You can see how I'm not all the way in the holster and the trigger guard is just crushed. It's super tight, doesn't fit at all. And then the other thing I pointed out was that when they made this, the distance from the top of the slide to the bottom of the dust cover on the X macro short is the same as on the X macro, despite the fact that on the actual P365 and 365 XL, that distance from the top of the slide to the bottom of the dust cover is less. So in essence, they made the right rail profile for what they were supposedly doing, but they put it in the wrong place. Side note, the new all metal framed AXG P365 Legion apparently has the same problem, just even further in that the AXG Legion, which does not fit our Ember holsters, doesn't fit standard macro holsters because the difference from the top of the slide to the bottom of the dust cover on the metal AXG Legion frame is even larger than on the standard macro polymer frame. So they've made a macro version that isn't compatible with macro holsters, which as my friend Brian says, is the most SIG thing ever. But last little detail, I took three different holsters, two Filster and one Henry, and I cut the trigger guards off because I wanted to show how even if you ignore the fact that this trigger guard is a macro trigger guard and therefore doesn't fit P365, 365X or P365 XL holsters, the difference in dust cover dimensions still has an impact on fit. So here's a P365 skeleton with the entire trigger guard portion cut away. You can jam it in there, but there's a lot of binding. There's a lot of pressure on that dust cover and it starts to drive the slide out of battery. P365 XL skeleton, same deal. Trigger guard completely removed, but because this SIG proprietary rail is set too low, it also starts to drive the slide a little bit out of battery. Fits terribly, nothing like what I would call an acceptable fit. And then a Henry Holster Flint Compact, also with the trigger guard removed. Same deal, the slide and dust cover profile are right, but the dimensions are too tall. And you can get it in there. Uh, it is super secure. It's not coming out at all. It feels really junky and draggy. And you can get it in, but I would not recommend that for carry at all. So the, the P365 Wilson Combat X Macro Short Module, I have no idea. Honestly, I think whichever engineer did this, designed this, without understanding the basic fit guidelines for what that module needs to be, uh, should probably have a performance review right now.